Fred Hammond, the father of Bree Hammond, who is on the new show, Grown and Gospel, has responded to Bree's comments she made on the show that she wants to be close to her father and things has not been going well with the father's, uh, the father and daughter relationship. Be sure to check out the other two videos I did. I did the review Girl, I really like this show. I know a lot of people is mad about it, and I understand why, but I really like the show. Um, and then I did a follow-up video about um, the problem I have with the show. That's the problem I have. And then I just did another video that I was supposed to do this video on about my favorite Fred Hammond gospel of, album of all time. And I played some of the music on my phone, so I didn't get a copyright strike. So I did that separately just in case I got a copyright strike. I would have to delete it and I couldn't put the video up. So now I'm doing this video where Fred Hammond responds to her daughter. I'm not going to give you my comment. I'm just going to let you hear the video, read what he says, and then I would like to hear what you say. And then I'm going to come back tomorrow and do another video because there's another video I wanted to do. Um, to my follow-up video about why is it that the only people they're praying are strays, prodigals, and those that have been rebellious, and nobody really talks about those of us that was there all along, even though we might slip and fall or the other. So, so I'm going to come back tomorrow and do a video uh, about that based on what you say. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, check those videos out for me. Uh, da da da, gospel grown and gossip comes on tonight. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to stay up and watch it. It is now 7 p.m. Uh, my hubby's my hubby and the baby just got home, so I'm about to uh give him dinner, give him a bath. And girl, you know, I might be dozed off by eight o'clock, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay up and watch because I want to see what's gonna happen tonight, girl. I, I want to see. Okay, so here's Fred Hammond's daughter, and here is Fred Hammond responding. Uh, to to what his daughter said on the show. And I want to know what you have to say about what he said. Wait a minute. 30 years of being in television, a lot. Okay, here go. Here go. Here go. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait. Oh, there you go. Okay. I want I want you to hear from the beginning. Okay, here it goes. Play. I would want a relationship that would involve closeness. I just want my dad. You know, I just want him. Now that's my child, and them tears are 100 percent real. No disputing that. But this woman right here is Mildred Hammond. And she would say sometimes to me, Freddie, sometimes people inadvertently put you in a shelf in a closet and they close the door. And they don't realize they did it. But when they ask you where you've been, just remind them, I was where you put me, in the closet, on the shelf. And when some of y'all finish talking about me and her like a dog, and if the people on the show make her look like a fool, and if she makes herself look crazy, and the reality show spits her out and puts her on the side of the ground wounded, guess who's gonna have to be there? With no lights, camera, or action. Ta-da. And in the end, we understand that reality shows can't really do anything because ratings is king and love don't pay the bill. When the smoke clears from this one, let's see if no weapon formed against me shall prosper work for the Hammond family. One more time. Okay, so she says, thank you for loving me despite me being damaged goods. I love you forever, Faja. And he said... No, I got you. Firstborn daddy is always here. Love you. Okay. I would want so Fred, that Fred did a comment. I'm going to read it. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what I think because I want to know what you think. I want to see if you're moving in the spirit. <laughs> so let me go ahead and read this. He said, Fred, Fred Hammond says, the most powerful love and protective part of me is not singing or music. It is my thoughts and my words. The Bible says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. My life has two very important groups of people, my family and friends, and my close family and friends. Uh, my close family and friends seek out trust and value my heart, my thoughts, and my words of wisdom and advice that came, uh, that come from my failures and successes in 62 years of life. The other group of family and friends whom I also love and whom I love, who love me dearly, 
do not value, trust, or receive my wisdom, knowledge, or advice. That comes from my 62 years of life experience, which in turn creates relationship kryptonite. So I give everybody the opportunity to make a decision where they want to put me because my mother, Mildred Hammond, taught me never force myself on anyone. And as a parent, Proverbs tell, never t tells us to force instruction and wisdom on our children. It instructs us to provide and impart wisdom and knowledge on our children and allow them the space to make the choice to receive it or reject it. As a parent, this is probably one of the hardest thing to do because we want to protect our children from making the same mistakes that we did not see them get hurt. But in the end, their journey will help them become who are they will return or they will turn out to be and the pitfalls and failures that we were allowed to go through and helped us. Hopefully theirs will also help them become one God intends them to be family. Hashtag family. So I want to know, I want to know what y'all think about that. Okay. Let me see if I can find the video of when the mother came to visit and when she said, um, sorry, y'all, sorry. Of when the mom says, uh, you know, that she's had to work jobs to, you know, take care of them. And I'm like, well, what happened to the child support? Where, where was the child support? Hold on, y'all. Just hang out. I'm going to show you the video. What happened to the child support? Alimony? We don't know now. I'm just saying for being the ex-wife of Fred Hammond, to me, that shouldn't have happened. But let me just say, we don't know. We only know based on the... Okay, here goes. And I know this in her house. Hold on. I know that's not her house with her sleeping on the futon. I'm going to speed it up to 1.5. Okay, let's speed that up. I did speed it up. I want you to hear just in case you didn't watch it. So this is... This is what we're talking about. So that's um, that's the part about Fred Hammond's daughter, and she responded. So let's see what's coming up tonight. I'm gonna try my very best to watch live, cause girl, I cannot wait till the morning to watch the scandals. This. So let's see what's coming up next. And remember, this is going faster than normal. Keeping wrong no, ass alive is like, uh, 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 because it's no. What? What's wrong with it? No one else. Ah, did y'all see clapping it? Did y'all see her clap, 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 clap? Girl, it's scandalous. It's scandalous. I do have a problem with the show. Check that video out that I had a problem with the show. But I'm also going to tell you why I. I like this show. I really do like it. Let me know what you think about what Fred Hammond said what his daughter said. And let me hear your thoughts. I know a lot of church folks are very upset about the show. They think it should be canceled. So uh, let me know uh, what you think about the show. Love you. Talk to you later. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Remember to show me love and joining my membership and also my GNC to member uh, mentorship platform. Um, uh, the husband profile is starting to get in summer. I cannot tell you when, but send me an email and I will add you to the list. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.